Welcome back to the Wayward Wags, and we are so excited yep. because it's donation time again. Yeah. We are at Otter Springs Campground. It's the future home of Camp Valor. Yes. A place where veterans can escape, rehabilitate, get educated, get some downtime, and recover from their combat and not related just injuries. Them escape, but them and their family. Exactly. Right behind us is the future site of the event building. So this is an area where they can do rehab, education, there'll be classrooms, there'll be places where they can talk to counselors, there'll be places where they can talk to people about education, yes. getting grants, mm -hmm. recreation inside, sporting events, and other large group events yes. they can do out here. Not only as, as a family, they come together as even a bigger family mm -hmm. for all the vets that are staying out here and kind of get to know each other. And you know, when you get to know each other and you start feeling comfortable, you start talking. Yes. When you start talking, you start healing. Exactly. This is the future site of the admin building. And around the admin yes. building is going to be all the little cabins. Correct. Where all the family members can just live. Yes, and for as long as they need. As long as they need to. And while they're there, they're, they're saving money. Yeah. And their veteran is getting rehabilitated and learning a trade. Exactly. And getting ready to be integrated back into the community. I love the concept that they have with the cabins. I do too. The way that they're going to attack this, it helps in so many different ways. Yeah. So what they're going to do is they're going to have veterans who are learning how to build and construction. Yes. Come out here and help and build, build the, cabins. the cabins. So they're building cabins for veterans while veterans right. are learning a trade. Exactly. So it's win, win, win. Yeah. It's all the way around. It's a good deal. Smart. What they're going to do is they're going to bring in some veterans mm -hmm. who have already been through a process. Correct. And are already trained up. They're going to bring like a chef out here. Yeah. They're going to bring a farmer out here. Yep. They're going to bring contractors out here. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on site teaching, teaching veterans exactly. a trade. Yeah. Which is very, very cool. Very cool. And hopefully, you know, as the program expands, they'll expand into more trades also. Exactly. Well, part of the healing and rehabilitation process is also spiritual. Yes. And they plan to have a non-denominational church here mm -hmm. on site. And they're going to have services out here. For the uh, for the veterans. Yes, awesome. Yeah. Well, now for the fun part of the rehabilitation. Yeah. Recreational, <laughs> and this is a perfect location, this man. This is great for it. The nature out here is just beautiful. Oh, right behind us is the actual Otter Springs. Yes. And there's there's two spring heads. There's one down here, and there's one down mm -hmm. by the river that's called Little Otter Springs. Yeah. And they all lead into the Swanee River. So there's so many opportunities. For the veterans just to get out here and escape reality. Kayak, just... float, whatever, swim, yeah. do it all. Hiking, the trails, lots there's of lots of trails, trails out here. It's just awesome out here, yeah. man. Yeah, can't ask for more. I mean, and the campground itself. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah. So even if you're not staying here on Camp Valor, and you just want to come stay at the campground in Otter Springs, right. it's very affordable. Very affordable. And it's beautiful. It's they have so events out peaceful. here. They're having a wedding out here right now. Yeah, there is a wedding. On right the other now. side of this camera, there's a wedding going on. <laughs> well, we're here with Robert, who is the president of the board for Four Vets, and the founder and CEO, Dan, of Four Vets. And thank you guys so much for having us out today. Yes. Beautiful Thanks campground, all. beautiful area. We love being out mm -hmm. here. So the first thing I want to talk about is how Four Vets and how the Camp Valor Project idea came to fruition. How did it come to be? Well, Dan Cavanaugh, who's our founder CEO, some years ago met with a young man that was a multiple uh, amputee, and he just really felt like that we needed something for our veterans when they come back, you know, severely wounded, yeah. not wounded at all, just being they come back, somebody that can embrace them and say, hey, welcome home, thank you, let's get you back onto the next chapter of life, and how can we make that transition as easy as possible from a employment standpoint, from a mental health standpoint, uh, recreational standpoint, therapeutic standpoint, whatever it takes to get them back to where they are, can now come home and be productive members of society like they were when they were in the military. What I love is the holistic approach, bringing yeah. the whole family out here, getting everybody out here, because a lot of times we go to places where it's just focused on the, on vet. the veteran. Right. Yeah. Now, the other question that I want to ask you, because we have a great community mm -hmm. here on YouTube, mm -hmm. we have great followers, a lot of them veterans themselves, yes. a lot of combat veterans themselves, going through a lot of the same struggles that we're talking about mm -hmm. today. Now, if they make a donation directly to the Camp Valor Project, 
Where's the money going? Where's the immediate need right now? The immediate need right now is uh, we're constructing some of our new buildings that we got going up. We want to make sure that we can get our administrative building up and put up so where we can actually bring veterans in and they can start staying and start getting with, on with the, ability to, the uh, job of rehabilitating and getting back into society. So every dime that gets donated to Camp Valor now goes directly to our construction fund. There's no, we don't take any ad being overhead or everything. So if you give a dollar, it's a dollar going to the construction fund. And that's area. awesome. We love to find yeah. Organizations like that, a lot of times you find these organizations where a high percentage of your money goes to salaries or overhead or stuff like that. So it's good to know mm -hmm. your whole donation goes directly to helping the veteran. Yep. And we have our friends with us here, Lawrence and Natalie, today, yeah. who uh, they donate a portion of everything that they make to us also from their red shirt Friday. Well, red shirt Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to remember everyone deployed, and we pull that money all together and we donate, and we're so proud and privileged to be able to donate to you guys today. Yeah. On behalf of every Wayward Wag follower and our supporting YouTube channels, I'd like to present you a check for $3,000. Yeah. There you go, boss man. You take the money. <laughs> so we want to thank you for everything that you're doing for the veteran community. You are making a difference. Yes. You are saving lives. This program is going to save people's lives. So this is near and dear to my heart. And you can see by the shirt that I'm wearing, 22 mm -hmm. veterans a day commit suicide. They take their own lives because they just don't know how to navigate the system. They don't know how to get through life. So this is definitely going to save lives. We thank you guys so much for that. Yes. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans like we're doing today, mm -hmm. everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Thank you all so much. We couldn't do this without you. Yeah. We appreciate you watching. Okay. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.